engines up and burning. Two, one, zero, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis. On the shoulders of the space shuttle, America will continue the dream. What we're working towards is a future in which we can have robots that will take over a lot of the menial tasks that astronauts do. Our first goal for our project is to have ground controllers driving the sphere around on the space station. The sphere will take data and pictures and sensor readings and send that back to the user. She hooks it to the front and at that point the phone will be able to tell the sphere where it needs to go. The processor, the camera, and all of the sensors that are in the Nexus S become the brains of the robot and tell the, the sphere where it wants to fly. The Wi-Fi on the phone connects to the station Wi-Fi. That gets linked down to the ground, and then hopefully we're going to be able to control it from the ground. We chose the Nexus S because the phone is very easy to take apart. Android is easy to program. We're familiar with it, and we needed to make a lot of customizations that are easier to make with Android. Google was also working on an open source data logger, and it met our use case requirements. You can download this application for your Android device, and that's the exact same application as what NASA is using. The more time that the astronauts can spend doing science, uh, the more value we're getting out of that investment. Our goal is to provide enough value to crew, and enough value to operations, that they'll be able to keep it up there for a long time. Roger roll, Atlantis. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis.